With an FCTV with Chris Agata looking ahead to this Saturday's FA Cup match at Hunter Hunt Waterlooville. Aggie, how are you looking ahead of this one? Uh, looking forward to another out in the Woodside. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, build on um, what's been a decent couple of weeks um, following the, the Truro game. Obviously, we're uh, seven points out of nine, which has been good. Um, yeah, just trying to build on that and just in general trying to build on what's been a pretty decent start. It's probably a good time to reflect back on that start you've made as well. Seven games now, yeah. six of them away from home. How do you reflect on the start you've made to the league campaign? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, th I think um, what we said a couple of weeks ago. We, we sort of think if you're running at that two points per game, you're, you're going to be there or thereabouts. So uh, we're under that, just under that. Um, but uh, I think factoring everything into um, into account, I think it's been a pretty decent start. I mean, lost one in seven. Uh, that one was pretty ugly, but. I think uh, I think actually it was an important reminder for uh, not only myself but also the players that if we're not at it, you know that that type of thing can happen. Um, and like I said, I, I don't envisage that happening again. Um, and ultimately, that that gives us the opportunity to react and and have a very very good week that we did last week. So um, it's just a case of you know, we're we're pleased with a solid start. I think if we we win the, the game in hand. I think we're in the playoffs, or and we're a few points off top. So you know, we we uh, we would we would always want more. Um, all the time we're not uh, top in the league, but ultimately we, you know, when we, we reflect on it, it's been pretty solid. So obviously it's the FA Cup this weekend. Then it's a historic competition for many reasons. What does it mean to you? Uh, I think it's a good opportunity to try and get the club to a place where maybe they've not been before. Um, I think uh, that challenge is exciting, so I look forward to look forward to the first step of that, which is obviously having at Waterlooville. But equally, we, we acknowledge that uh, having a very good side, and and uh, we're going to need to be at our best to, to beat them. I mean, yes, they're a step three club, but they're not really. They're at, you know, they're, uh, their manager is certainly not a, a step three manager. Is very good, uh, Sean North, and they'll be extremely well coached, and they've got some very good players. So uh, we know that, like in league games, we need to be at our best, and um, anything less than that means it's going to be difficult. But we just look forward to it, excited, and uh, hopefully the first of, of many games in the FA Cup this year. Just on it a little bit there, but what can you expect from as, um, as opponents this Saturday? Uh, it'll be very hard to beat. Um, they will be, I'd imagine it would be very similar to what um, a majority of teams have done against us this year, uh, where there will be a bit of a block um, and it's up to us to try and break them down and then they'll try and counter attack and um, almost be uh, at their most dangerous when we've got the football. I think that will be, uh, that'll be the type of challenge that's in front of us. Um, and. Like I've alluded to a couple of times, I think we've got to get used to that uh, type of approach from the opposition. Um, and I think ultimately it's a compliment. Um, but like I said previously as well, I've seen it all before. Um, it's happened a little bit quicker than uh, I would have thought. Um, like Normally it takes sort of at least a third of the season before teams recognise that perhaps pressing us isn't the best idea. Um, and it's taken a few games, so uh, it's a, like I said, it's a compliment. Um, but again, I, I've seen it uh, plenty of times, and with work um, on the training pitch, and um, just developing a few ideas, and also building on all the very good work that's already in place. Because uh, I know Worthing would have faced it a lot last year under Hinch and uh, then Aaron. Um, so I think we've got a pretty Clear idea on how to how to break it down. Looking at the team for Saturday, is it just Joel and Titus still on the injury list? Uh, no, uh, we've got Sam Beard, um, who is uh, is injured. Got injured on Tuesday night, which is very frustrating because I think he's probably been our player of the year um, so far. He's been brilliant, so he will be a big miss. Um, 
and even if it was touch and go, we probably wouldn't play him um, because we, want to, we don't want to risk him. And Kane Wills is also injured as well, so he'll be unavailable. Um, again, same boat as Sam Beard. If if we thought it was touch and go again, we probably wouldn't want to risk him because we don't want to. You know, we wouldn't want to see those guys unavailable because we've tried to force it for a sort of prolonged period of time. They're so important to what we want to do. So, but um, what I would say is, is we've got a very good squad, uh, and as we've seen in all the games he's played for us, Jack Bates when he comes on, he has a, he affects the game, uh, and he was a better finish away from having a very good assist on Saturday against Hornchurch. So um, he'll more than likely come in for uh, Wilsey and then uh, Sam Beard, obviously Sam Packham has been very good so uh, yeah we've got options. And Joe Colgram, what's the latest on him? Uh, we're looking at, I'll be surprised if it's not at least another two weeks to be honest.